Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm holding a Pro 1000 MT cartridge. This is an OEM original card with the original chip in it. This cartridge comes loaded with 80 milliliters of ink and the chip is designed so that when it goes empty, at the moment you get that red X, notice the cartridge is actually fully empty as well. That doesn't really happen much with other printers. They will always have some ink left. And so these, when they go empty, the cartridge is empty. Now, what are we doing? We are, of course, refilling these. I'm using OEM inks that I get from 700 ml cartridges that I buy. I get about eight full loads out of a single 700 ml cartridge, 80 to 81 ml each that I then inject into these cartridges. So let me discuss a little bit of a problem that seems to be confusing a lot of people. The chip is designed to report 80 milliliters of ink, okay? No more, no less. This has a very accurate system of measuring the actual amount of ink being used, as well as ink being wasted, if you will, on maintenance cycles. So when the chip says, hey, Joe, I am empty, because I'm gonna show you that red X, that means the cartridge is empty. What a lot of people are doing when they're refilling these is refilling them prematurely. They get a low signal and they panic. They take it out. If they were to weigh an empty one and weigh a full one, then you would be able to tell if there's actually ink left in here. In fact, you can hear it sloshing around. When it reaches low, I have measured it. It has about 18 milliliters of ink still in it. So the mistake people make is that they will load 80 ml of ink. When you buy the loads from Precision Colors, you get 82 ml, okay? You can actually squeeze in that extra two ml in there. But you can't do that if you still have 18 ml of ink because you are loading this ink using a totally different procedure, vacuum filling or pressure filling. And you can check that out in my previous videos on the Pro 1000. Now, the way this will work only works if your cartridge is empty. You load 80 ml in your syringe, you got a 100 ml syringe, load 80 in there, and then do your pressure filling or vacuum filling. I demonstrated all of those methods in previous videos. So no need to discuss that here, but you have to have an empty cartridge. Then you go ahead and you change the chip with a brand new single use chip. We're not gonna even talk about those auto reset chips. They're not performing the way that traditionally is expected of an auto reset chip. We'll talk about it later because I'm still working on getting some data from Precision Colors and the Chinese manufacturers of these chips so I can pass the information off to you guys. So let's not talk about those. Let's talk about the single use chips. When this chip is empty, I remove it, remove the cap, replace the chip. Now the cartridge is declared as full, but I have to load 80 ml. Now someone suggested, why not just load 60? That way you will not have a problem if there's some ink left. Well, you shouldn't be refilling the cartridge if there's some ink left in the cartridge. You should not have to do that prematurely. If you start to do that, you're gonna get to the point where your ink levels reported by the chip are not synchronized with the actual ink amounts in the cartridge. Another thing that you guys may not know, there are no sensors inside here. There are no little um, light pipes, some other Canon printers. There's no prisms, nothing. There is nothing in here to tell the printer how much ink is left, nothing whatsoever. There's nothing in the valve that can actually be described as any kind of sensor or sensory device, okay? The spigot, that this connects to, that is an amazing little piece of tech that allows ink to leave the cartridge and go into the ink lines and also allows air to be vented into the compartment to allow the cartridge to maintain and equalize pressure. So it actually matches the atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure. You would think since there are no vents, anywhere that when ink is pulled out, you will start to create a vacuum, but that's not the case. That spigot has a two-way system, if you will. It allows air to enter 
and fill that vacuum that you are creating by exiting ink. So, again, don't be confused. And it's so simple. You get your single-use chips. That's really the most, I think right now, probably, I would say, the most reliable method, okay? Uh, $12 for a chip, okay? That seems a little high, but think about this. $12 for the chip, about, what is it? Um, $12, $15 for a load of ink, and that would be $25, give or take, instead of 60 even if you use OEM at $35, you add 12, that is what, $47. That's still better than $60 per cartridge, $59.99. I don't know what they're selling for nowadays because I don't buy them. So anyway, so that is it. Let this cartridge go empty every single time. You start off with the proper amount of ink, it will go empty as reported by the chip. The cartridge will be synchronized and it will be empty. Okay, if you load only 60 milliliters, then the chip is going to think that it has 80. It's going to start counting down. When it reaches down to 20%, it still thinks that I'm good to go. I'm low, but you know, you can continue to print. The cartridge is empty, folks. It'll just be sucking air into your ink lines. That's not good. That's not good at all, right? So don't do that. Allow the cartridge to go empty. Don't, don't. Try to circumvent the method that has been proven, okay? Do not prematurely fill your cartridges. Let them go empty. In this case, these cartridges can be trusted. When they reach empty, replace the chip, refill it with 80 ml of ink, maybe squeeze in 82, it's okay. Be aware that you need to keep an air gap, okay? There's, there has to be a little air gap. So you can probably put 85 in there, but then you would remove the air gap. You need that air gap. So 80 is the correct amount. 82 is what you are given when you buy the kit from Precision Colors. Do you have to squeeze in 82? You don't have to, but you know, at least they give you a couple extra ML. So do that. Cartridge goes empty as declared by the chip. Remove it, replace the chip. Fill it with the 80 ML of ink. Pop this cover back on. You are good to go. That's it. Foolproof. No problems. Reliability. Extreme. Yes. This is really, really amazing. <sighs> I'm hoping Canon doesn't realize how easy this is to refill and reuse. So it doesn't end up in some landfill. God, I hate that. I will reuse as many cartridges as I can. Unfortunately, Epson does not allow us to do that anymore. Those cartridges are so intricately designed that we cannot possibly come up with an easy method to refill them. So on the Epson side, we rely on refillable cartridges unless the printer is locked. So far, this is not locked for those single-use chips. So why do I keep talking about single-use chips? Because the ARC are not working the way that we think they should be working. No more discussion on that. I'm going to cover that when I do get some data and I can prove what the heck I'm talking about. So you'll have to wait a little while for me to acquire that data and then I will go ahead and disclose it. Of course, there's going to be some testing done before I do that as well to verify what our little theories are. All right, thank you so much. Gosh, I hope I didn't come across too strong. I apologize if that's the way it seemed, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand not to prematurely refill these cartridges. Just let them go empty. It's okay. Just like the Pro 10, you can allow them to go empty. It's fine. Nothing will happen. That's even more reliable because it's got an ink bag. And once that bag is collapsed, that's it. There's no air that's going to come out magically out of that ink bag. No, it's collapsed. That's it. You can only have ink in that ink bag, no air. So that's even more reliable than this one, but this is pretty darn reliable. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, and like. When you subscribe, click that little bell. ding -a -ling. It will tell you when the next video is available for you guys to watch. That's how we stay alive in this world of YouTube. So thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.